friend of mine uh, called me the other day and said, you know, hey, BP, or that's what he calls me, BP. He said, you know, what's the deal? You haven't been doing anything on YouTube lately. And I was kind of like, yeah, I know, I know. I said, uh, I moved back to my cabin in the woods. I left California and kind of moved back to the woods and stuff. So, real honest, I ain't been, you know, going to the gym lately or stuff. I like to tell myself I'm engaging in what they call functional fitness, you know, like cutting down trees and lugging brush and lugging jugs of water and stuff. But it ain't the same, you know. Maybe, maybe I'm getting a little out of shape. I don't know. And my friend said, well, he said, you know, I noticed uh, that you just hadn't been doing any videos and you hadn't, haven't been teasing Skull Crusher lately. And I was like, oh, him, whatever. I was, I was like, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm 2,000 miles away, you know, because I was just getting pretty sick and a little tired of looking, looking at his big, giant, massive, detailed, highly sculpted muscles day after day after. So good written, and I'm glad I'm here. My friend said, you know, he said, I watched your videos. I watched all of them all over again. He said, you know what I think? I think, I think you like Skull Crusher. And I was like, what? I did, I did, I can't hear you when you talk like that. I said, I said, just the biggest whatever. I don't care. Let's change the subject. And he said, no, no, I watched your videos. And it's pretty clear to me that I think you are in love with him. And I was like, stop saying that, God. I would rather have pencils pounded into my ears or hot wax poured into them rather than listen to you talk like that. And I said, besides, besides, he's already got a boyfriend. Fine, you know. Which reminds me, I never did tell the story of how Fireplug got his nickname. Because one of my viewers, you know, had said, hey, you know, BP, you really do a good job at naming your beef pies. You know, you got a good strategy. What's your secret? And I said, well, actually, it's Kind of a, it's a fine art. It's almost a science of naming beef pies, you know. But Skull Crush's boyfriend, Fireplug, um, he's kind of like that. He's, you know, he's sort of short and he's sort of stout. And, oh, he's tough, you know. He's tough like cast iron. Just, just like a Fireplug. And then he's got like this, this hose. It's a big hose, and it's, it's a long hose. And then it's got, like, this, 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 this nozzle on the end of it. Not all guys have that, you know. That's all I'm going to say about that. You know, um, it's got, like, this hose, this big, long hose with this nozzle on the end of it. So that's how he got his nickname up. Fire plug. And frankly, I don't know how Skull Crusher, you know, can put up with that thing because, you know, I assume you have to like be adjusting and, you know, that nozzle all the time for him. Whatever. Um, so, but it's not like I care, anyways. I said, I'm, you know what? I'm glad he's got a boyfriend. I said, who'd want to sleep with Skull Crusher anyway? I mean, imagine, you know, trying to go to sleep, you know. With that laying beside you at night, God, it'd be, ask any butcher, it'd be like having a half a side of beef there in bed with you. If he, like, flopped his big, hairy, muscular arm on top of you, you know, I would be like, I'd be like, get that thing off me. I, I, I can't hardly breathe. You're crushing my rib cage. Go, go over on your side of the bed. That, that's what I'd tell him. And my friend said, yeah, it's pretty clear to me you are in love with him, and you miss him, don't you? And I was like, just stop it right there. I said, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to soften me up. 
and I'm not a softy. I'm tough. I'm tough as nails, and and, and you ain't gonna get to me like that. And he said, "You really miss him. Something awful, don't you?" <laughs> And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, I love California. Like, like in May, to July. I was like three months ago. Not that I'm counting or anything. And I haven't seen him since. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, um, and the last time I saw it, it wasn't good. He, there, was, there was like this episode and he got so angry. And it was the last time at the gym. And and he had stripped down, you know, went into the shower to take a shower after his workout, you know. And when he came back, somebody had stolen the jock strap from his pile of clothes and there was this guy, you know, down the aisle of lockers and he like grabbed the guy by the throat and was like, did you steal my fucking jock strap? And the guy was like, no, gee, chill out, you know, and I never, I never see them so angry like that because normally he's such a gentle giant, you know. But, but he was so pissed off and then God he could, he was like ready to take and tie somebody's arm in a knot and rip out their neck and crush his skull because that's what he does, you know. And he missed him. Boo. Who? Who? Hey Skull Crusher, are you watching this? Cause you been punked, baby. Oh what? You want your dirty, sweat, and piss-stain jockstrap back? Oh, correction. You want your dirty, sweat, and piss, and cum stain jockstrap back? Because I made sure of that, baby. Huh? Huh, you big deltoid daddy? Huh, Mr. Meaty Bones? Does this sound familiar to you? How about I pack this thing in my stud gun here, and I say to you, Huh, punk? You want your dirty, sweat, and Piss and come stain jock strap back. Why don't you just try to come and get it? Oh, I double dog dare you, huh, Mr. Tussed Up, Mr. Burly Bear. Why don't you come here? Why don't you come 2,000 miles here? I'll put that jock strap on and you can chew it off me. You've been <sighs> punked. And this is a warning to you. I'm coming back to California in the fall. I'm coming back to that gym. And I'm going to give me 30 days, and I'm going to tough up, and I'm going to beef up, and I'm going to take you on, motherfucker. I'm going to pose you down so hard and fast, your little posing strap is going to fall down around your ankles. And maybe I'll steal that, too. That's it for today's episode of I on Beef Pie.